Hello, let's try to understand the basic concept of the inverter, a very common word in areas where we have used load shedding or continuous power interruption. UPS is also in similar concept. We will try to just analyze as to how the basic function of an inverter come charger. Usually when we have supply, the main supply is available, that main supply is given directly back at the output. It enters at the input, comes back at the output through a relay contact switch, which is uh, driven on when the mains is available. So this is the NO contact and this NO contact closes and input goes and then input comes out at the output and simultaneously at the same time this AC is also taken and passes through a track to the main transformer which is used at that time as a step down transformer where this particular point is connected to a tapping at a particular voltage. So whatever control voltage is given by this track, we get around 18 volt or so, 0, 18, 0, 18 here. In the process, these two diodes, which are the inbuilt diodes of the power MOSFET are used for charging. For example, while this is a positive or while this is positive, it goes this way, passes through the battery this way and then negative for that half cycle. In the next half cycle positive goes this way and completes the next half cycle. In the process the charging takes place through the inbuilt diode of the MOSFET. It may please be noted that during the mains availability the drive to the MOSFETs are not given. The drive which is coming from the control card is not given. In the process these MOSFETs are assumed to be non-existent. So the diodes which are inbuilt diodes of the MOSFET are of course there and they behave as the rectifying diode for the battery charging purposes as explained. In the inverting operation similarly though the diodes have certain function which little complicated to understand as far as the in inductive load is concerned. Otherwise, you can safely assume that the diodes are not existing because they will be reversed. Point during the main time, this point is up to the transformer is not connected. It, through the relay, it is disconnected. So, the power doesn't, transformer power doesn't reach here. It's only a step down arrangement which is happening and that is as far as the invert, that as far as the mains operation is concerned. While for the inverting operation, the same transformer is used for tapping up 12 volt AC to 230 volt AC. How? What we have, we have got MOSFET switches for each half cycle. A number of MOSFETs could be connected in parallel to handle more power. Of course, this would be on the heat sinks. And the drive is given from a control board, this particular control board. It gives a drive and the drive switches on for positive half cycle this sets and for the negative half cycle this set. So when the drive is given to the MOSFET, it's like a switch it closes. So positive flows from here, goes this way, cannot go this way because the diode is reverse biased by the time. It comes here through the switch and back to the negative. When this is switched on, this is switched off and when this is switched on, when this is switched on, this is switched off. So this is for the half cycle, this is for the other half cycle. Similarly, when this is driven, when the drive is given to this MOSFET, it goes this way and passes through this MOSFET, go to the negative. In the process, the AC is developed. In the process, the power is developed here is AC voltage and that AC voltage is again with this transformer stepped up. In this case, this is primary, this is secondary. In the mains operation, this was primary, this was secondary. 
and the voltage is now available. That time this relay contact changes to this side to the control circuit here. So what happens? Now since in the inverting operation the normal uh, com this is the common point neutral is the common point and for the transformer and here it comes and passes the inverter output only with that time mains is not available and this point is disconnected is because this is switched over to this side as such the mains is not available during the inverting operation or while the power is not there the control circuit is uh, used for uh, PWM pulses either from microcontroller or from any other uh, IC like SG3524 which is very popular uh, PWM IC for driving the MOSFETs control the relays uh, thyristor firing pulses are required based on the battery voltage a feedback is taken based on the battery voltage thyristor firing pulses for charging and other logical functions such as under battery that means when the battery voltage falls overall um, under battery trip when the battery voltage falls over volt, overload trip if there is an overload happens in the AC in the inverting operation trip under an over voltage AC etc LED indications and buzzer or conditions with other information which are also available in the inverter card it's a very standard card which is available in the market and uh, you can very comfortably use this card and uh, usually they are with built-in MOSFETs and uh, all these arrangements like relay, triac and all all that one has to do is use just a transformer and a battery and that's how you can make your own inverter comfortably with little bit of guidance as far as the high current areas are concerned thank you